Hey team, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am on the theme of celebrity smiles. Why? Because the video that you all loved so much was about those celebrity smiles that we love. Julia Roberts, Margot Robbie, Angelina Jolie. You can find the video on my page and look back at it. So I thought we would continue on with the theme since you love to know, you nosy lot, how much people have had done, what they've had done, what it means and so forth. Before I go on, don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel and then I can continue growing it because without you, I won't have a channel. So please just do that for me and write in the comments as well if you wanna see any other smiles. So one of the most talked about smiles in the male world, well, in the male Hollywood world is Tom Cruise. Why? Well, I want you to take a good look at Tom Cruise's teeth. He actually has a massive center line shift. What do we mean by that? We mean that the center line doesn't align with the nose. So usually we try and aim for that. Lots of studies show if you have up to two millimeters discrepancy, it actually doesn't matter. But with Tom Cruise, we can see it's pretty drastic. It's almost aligned with his eye. However, if we look at his previous photograph before his teeth are done, we can see his teeth were pretty crooked before. He didn't want to have braces, i.e. orthodontic treatment. So the way in which the veneers were made, we had to kind of accept the center line. We, I didn't make them, but you know, I'm just saying his dentist had to accept that that center line was like that. It doesn't look bad. Why doesn't it look bad? Because his teeth are white and straight. And again, studies show that unless you have what we call a midline cant, i.e. the teeth are tilted, that is when you notice it. So cants are more obvious than actually midline shift. So now you probably can't unsee it. People can't unsee Tom Cruise's midline shift once they see it. But what he's had done is he had veneers done, no orthodontic treatment to correct the center line shift. You might say, well, why couldn't veneers correct it? Well, his teeth would have to be literally cut down to tiny, tiny little pegs and shifted along to correct that center line shift. So he just went for veneers, accepted the center line shift. We don't have a cant. They're lovely, they're white, and it's not too obvious. He is doing well in life, so I'm not too worried about it. Next up is my teenage crush, Zac Efron. I was absolutely obsessed with High School Musical and also obsessed with Zac Efron's teeth. If we look at his before, we can see he has what we call a diastema, which is basically a gap between the teeth. His after photo shows that that diastema is gone. To be honest, I think he's just had orthodontic treatments to close up the gap, traditional braces, maybe Invisalign, but I think it was the traditional braces, and then whitened and perhaps even contoured. So contouring is when you smooth out the edges of the teeth just to make them look a little bit neater. Supernatural result. I personally love a gap. He had it changed and that is totally fine. Next up is Cristiano Ronaldo, another acclaimed smile. If we look at Cristiano's teeth before, you can see he's actually missing an upper lateral. The lateral is the little side tooth next to your front tooth. He actually had orthodontic treatment, so i.e. braces, to open up the space between the canine, the pointy tooth, and the central incisors. This was to create the optimal size gap so that he could have a implant placed in there. His lateral might have been somewhere else in his mouth and then that pulled down into place. I'm not sure, but the options are for gaps basically is that you have an implant if the tooth is genetically missing or you can have the tooth pulled down with a chain as part of orthodontic treatment. So once all the teeth were aligned, he probably had some whitening and maybe even some restorative work, bonding or maybe even veneers just to make things look lovely and neat. We can see the result is lovely and balanced. He has a high lip line, which means that he shows his gums and his teeth on smiling, but I would say it's a very proportionate, beautiful result. The next smile that we're going to discuss is Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson has what we call a diastema, i.e. a gap between his two front teeth, which FYI I love. But there is a number of reasons why you can have a diastema. One of the reasons is because you could have a small tooth to jaw size discrepancy, which means that your teeth are too small for your jaw, or that you have a prominent frenulum. A frenulum is that flesh just up here, if you can see, but basically the one that goes underneath the lip in between the teeth. And if you have a prominent one, your teeth can't come together. Anyway, he did choose to keep his diastema, which is amazing, but he had two gold veneers placed if you have a look at the photo here. He had these changed years later where he had two white veneers placed. Now having veneers involves preparation of the teeth, it's permanent, and if you wanna change the white ones, it's not just it's not that you can just get the gold ones removed, you actually have to get them replaced with white or tooth colored ones. So that's what he had done and he's chosen to keep the smile ultra natural even though he's got these two white veneers in place. Next up is Ben Affleck and we're all loving watching Benifer. But let's take a look at how Ben's teeth have changed over the years. 
If you have a look at his teeth previously, they were pretty good, they were well aligned. He did have more gummy smiles, so he showed more gum on smiling. And I think that he's had a gum lift and some porcelain veneers. Why can we tell this? Because the teeth are bigger, they also are different shapes. So if you look at the after photograph, you can see that they're slightly more slender. They also have fewer embrasures, so i.e. the little gaps between the edges of the teeth, they've become closer together and they definitely appear whiter. So Ben has definitely had some work done and I guess that's not the only change that's been happening in his life. Morgan Freeman is another person I want to discuss. And what's interesting about Morgan Freeman is that his teeth have shown natural signs of aging. So he's developed a little bit of a gap in between his teeth, but it's not because of diastema as I'd explained before, it's more because of the teeth just aging over time, perhaps maybe developing differences in his gums for example. His teeth have also become more yellow in colour because as you get older the enamel gets thinner, diet and so forth, and the teeth appear to be a little bit more cracked. If we look at his smile transformation, it's pretty epic. He has also had perhaps a full mouth of veneers or crowns where the teeth have become whiter, they've become more symmetrical, they've become wider. And I would say it's taken about 10 years off his face, which shows you how transformational the smile can be. One of the most talked about smiles in the entire world has to be Simon Cow, but I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what it was and what it is now. Why? Because to be honest, I don't remember Simon Cow ever not having these teeth. We can see here that they are extremely Hollywood. They're quite square. They're very, very white. They have minimal gaps between them and they are quite big for his face. He actually went through a transformation recently. We have them changed to becoming more natural. And if you look at the after photo, which is more recent photo, we can see there are more natural white. The teeth are actually smaller in size. They have some natural gaps between them. They also have some mild translucency, which gives it a more lifelike appearance. And also they're not overfilled because although everyone is obsessed with a wide smile, you can actually go overboard and the teeth can just look like they're completely filling up the mouth. He's definitely gone from a more proportionate natural look and I'm into it. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about the lovely Ryland's teeth. Ryland had a natural white smile before, he had a good full smile. He's actually opted to go for veneers. As we can see, the veneers are more Hollywood looking. He's gone for a white color with no translucency. So they are just what we describe as being opaque because not much light transmission goes through them. The teeth are also very uniform. So the front teeth are very similar to the teeth on the sides, for example, in size, which gives it more of that uniform Hollywood appearance. He's also gone for teeth that aren't particularly pointy or don't have little gaps between them. I talk about the embrace so really they've just got that uniform look and a very very white shade we have a shade guide in dentistry where we go from natural white to really really white and the whiter shade that you can get is something called BL1 so he probably has gone for this color and this color is retained throughout the lifetime of the veneers I hope that you have all enjoyed this whistle stop tour of male celebrity smiles you all loved my last video so please don't forget to show me some love on this video and also tell me in the comments about more of the stuff that you'd like to be seeing because I want to give you guys the stuff that you have been seeing. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Don't forget to brush and floss every single day. Give me some love and I'll see you all next week.